and welcome back to Cloudpunk. So I guess William needs our help and uh, we have nothing else to do. Well, like I have a kid back at home. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Okay, William, what do you want? Uh, I guess he, he somehow indicated that he rose to the top of the... Uh, I don't know, the hierarchy of that building and now he also uh, runs the things, uh, runs, the, runs the place and uh, rents out uh, the apartments. I mean, that, that would be quite the journey in one night of uh, starting out as a junior uh, janitor, right? But I guess we're gonna learn about his story. I, I'm, 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 I'm doubtful though. I think it is possible that the person is uh, a little bit deluded, but hey. Okay, William, I'm gonna pop by and see what's up with you. Damn. Who knew delivering people is and packages is so exciting. Oh crap. Okay, let's let's take a right. And uh stick to the road. Where we can be faster. <clears throat> Do I need gas? Well oh fuck. I was looking at the map. I guess I need to repair my car eventually. Where do we park? Damn coupling? What? Oh, I see. Don't worry, William! I'm coming to save you! Um, well, I can kind of, I, I guess. I just want to hear what, what happened to you. Oh, we got a merchant there. Is he a drug dealer? Maybe he has some other stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm on the lookout for items that can can be useful for gameplay. What are you, looking for? you had uh, you have a Hitachi No Fuze Pro jacket, red boots. I could use some red boots. Uh, give me that. I mean, not Thanks. not necessarily a responsible hey, purchase. Anytime, I mean, we need that. Can I wear that? I love these. We have we used to have brown boots. Now we have red red boots. I only need red pants now. Uh, what is that? Chopiner. And it's not a complete waste because we can just uh, sell it if we want Here's to. What Golden spire jacket. No, I'm I'm not that big of a douche. Okay, we can Thanks. sell our stuff, but I, I, don't, know, I don't care. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, that's my inventory. Yeah, let's go. I'm your market. Okay, I'm here. What did you need me to do again? I will send you to a nav point on the northern face of the building. Okay. You'll find the override switch there. I can't get to it myself. Fine, I'm on my way. What? Do I'm I get there by the foot? Security manifest to you now. This should give you access to the terminals. Should we ask what the switch is for? Nope. But maybe it is something bad. Better we don't know. We did not like William. He was strange. Everyone is strange here. <laughs> we are strange here. Hmm. You have changed. Hey, where's this attitude coming from? It's I'm just trying one to night. get us through this shift. Things went bad, and I feel sad too, but, but you are becoming hard. Are you my conscience now? Look, we should keep our heads down for a while. Ask him what the switch does. Fine, keep your wheels on, I'll ask. Hey William, come in please. What does this switch do? You must hurry. They are overrunning the building. What? Who is? The infected. The infected? infected. Like a disease? Yes, it makes them crazy. They will destroy this building. They plan to unplug me. Why would they unplug the vacuum cleaner? I am the building factor now. I was lucky enough to benefit from a series of accidents that befell my senior AIs. Oh. A string of promotions led me to be the new building manager. How fortunate. Camus, I think you were onto something. Everything has been running smoothly during my tenure. Trash is collected on time. 
The elevators rarely fail. So what went wrong, William? A plague, an outbreak. They have become monsters and the infection spreads by the moment. Please do not delay further. I know you may doubt me, but I confess. I am in over my head. I let things get out of hand. Perhaps the food rations were tainted, or perhaps some nerve gas escaped due to the unnecessarily complicated air filtration systems. I cannot reach the reset switch which will isolate the infected areas. But you can. I am loath to beg, but I will beg if I need to. Maybe we should help. He sounds desperate. And you can't override the security switch yourself? The emergency isolation systems require a physical switch be activated. My consciousness has been uploaded to the building's mainframe. I have no method to leave the building, far less press a switch. And your maintenance bots, porters, no other androids can help? They were all my seniors too, and sadly, a series of random and unfortunate accidents befell them all. Uh-huh. Did you kill him? I do not think he is a good automata. I can hear you, you know. But I still think maybe we should help the people. Let's go look at this emergency isolation switch then. We have two nav points. What's the deal, Camus? I think we should help the people. But? But I have also provided a nav point for the building manager's power input. So we could disconnect William completely? Yes, but maybe the people would suffer. Or the infection would spread. If there even is an infection. Yes. The other switch would put many apartments in the building into lockdown, isolating many residents. What would happen to them? I do not know. I think they would be trapped. Fuck. The problem is, I only have William's word to go on, and William is highly, highly uh, uh, encouraged, well, I don't know, highly invested into uh, staying the building manager, even though he, he himself admitted that a lot of things went wrong, not because of him, but during, I suppose not because of him. I, could, I suppose we could use a friend. But fuck, how could you make this choice? I suppose I will gain no favor by pulling William, but I could gain favor by helping William. And based on what he said, that might be better. Even though William does seem very much over his head, but... I mean... Will those who can who, who remove him do better? Fuck, I don't know. Hello? Are you there, Cloudpunk woman? The lockdown is active. Glad I could help. What's gonna happen to the people in quarantine? Oh, I will be sure to get them help. I am not sure that is true. It is true, little dog. And I have transferred payment. So our transaction is complete. Goodbye. Did we do the right thing? We don't know. We did something. We got 2,000. We definitely did something. But we just don't know. We don't have information. Driver 14FC, we have an urgent contract. We need someone fast. Is that me? I bet it's me. It is. But don't take this one lightly. It's a printed heart. Someone needs it in the spire. Once you take on the mission, I'll tell Life Corp to go ahead with the print. Is it a transplant? Is someone ill? Not exactly. From what I understand, Life Corp specializes in hearts that beat to specific song rhythms. What? It's very fashionable in the spire. This one is a song from the pop idol Dolly's new album. Love to help those less fortunate than me. Hold the sass, kid. This pays well, but you gotta be quick. The batteries don't last on these things unless they're feeding off biomechanical energy in someone's chest. If you're too slow, they'll need to print another. Is this well paid, at least? <laughs> For Cloudpunk, yes. For you, well, kinda. I've sent the nav point to pick it up. Good luck, kid. Thanks.
Did I go to the right place? There was a lift somewhere. <laughs> I was I was listening to the conversation. Yeah, we we are at the right place. <clears throat> wow, wouldn't you have a heart attack if you had a heart that? Uh, What's the point? Beat the rhythm of Dolly's new song. That's just that's just insane. I suppose it's not meant to be a long-term uh, decision, <laughs> but something to enjoy, short-term. Whoa! Now this is the kind of fucked-up shit that makes uh, the less fortunate hate the hate the rich, right? Because, to be fair, you know, there are a lot of people who are more in the neutral range, even though I suppose most people would uh, say that, oh, they're good. And, like, I don't know, like, like mass murderers are bad only. <clears throat> and, uh, I don't know, the rich go on, like, uh, charity events and crap like that, just to, I don't know, jerk each other off. But, I mean, the only evidence you need that they don't give a shit is that they still... Uh, just sitting on a pile of money, pile of resources, and uh, yep, there you have it. I mean, sure, you can just say like, "Oh, I'm just, I'm just in it for myself." That's fine. Just, just don't be a hypocrite. And uh, okay, pick up an artificial heart from Life Corp. But when you're in it for yourself. You cannot act surprised when others are in it for themselves as well, right? And you're like, oh my god, some guy mugged me on the street for money. How could that be? It's like, either you want that world or you don't want that world. Make up your fucking mind. Okay, let's park. Uh, well, I'm, I'm picking up the heart. Oh, Life Corp. I'm here for something, uh... Something nice. Uh, I don't know. Uh, some... I don't know, I guess it's not up to me. I'm just, uh... The pizza driver. Wait, I get it from the bot? I'm here to pick up the heart. Now, go! Every second counts! What's with the time missions? Is it the time mission again? What the fuck? Should I just do candy bar? Sweet. I'll try not to fuck it up, but two minutes? How the hell? Wait. Two minutes from getting it to actually just putting it into their chest? Why not just have this operation? In life corp. I know this seems like an inconvenience, but when it comes to a heart transplant, wouldn't you have professionals do it? Wouldn't you just have it at the... Why, why would you have it at the comfort of your own home? It just seems... <laughs> a bit extra. Okay, uh, let's take a left. Uh, we are close, aren't we? I need to hover up. I think. I need to land. Okay. Where am I? Fuck, I don't even see. I see. There's a parking area to the left. That's what we have to take. We have 30 seconds. What the hell? 20 seconds? We're not gonna make it. I was set up to fail, right? I can't run that fast. No, that's... Super likely. Super unlikely. I don't know. 
at very best, I, I'm just gonna high five the guy who I'm supposed to deliver it to. No, we're not gonna make it. No good, 14 FC. Might as well toss that thing in the trash. It's worthless now. I'm sorry, okay? Sorry, Control. You'll make the next one. Really? <sighs> well, I, I tried to deliver. I guess don't give me these kind of missions. What you look? Do you have it? Give me some soda cans. Maybe this makes me faster. Thanks. Hey, come back any. Than the candy bars. I don't know. We need something extra. Do you have a next mission? Do I have to redo this mission? I don't know. Should I just do drugs to run faster? I mean, that seems a bit excessive. Just to deliver a heart in time. Wait, my car is here. Where's my car? Oh, that, that's, that's my car. It looked a little different. Hey, Camus, are we low on fuel? The gauge says we're good, but I'm putting my foot down and it's like we're driving through syrup. Running diagnostic. We are low on fuel. I thought this Hava was new. We have only 30% lift in the right-hand rear drive. The propulsion systems have to power down to compensate. Shit, we're gonna have to go in for repairs. If this is expensive, it could wipe out our whole earnings for the night. Give me a nav point for the garage. Emmett's. <laughs> Maybe he'll do a fix on the cheap. I have to repair my car multiple times a night. <laughs> Good driver. Wow. Alright, control. So I got my car stolen. I trashed trashed my first hover twice and it got stolen. Then got this hover, trashed it once. But it didn't get stolen. So I mean that that that's a plus, so <laughs> I guess we gotta go in for a repair at Emmett. Oh my god. Hey, I'm good at this job, okay? <laughs> I mean, where are you? I have a lot of money. I suppose I should be spending it on furniture, but I'm a minimalist. I'm not gonna spend it on that. I guess I can spend it on drugs. Oh yeah, how about I just spend it all on drugs and I'm gonna do it with my foster child? What do you guys think about that? What should I spend my money on? What would you guys spend the money on? Furniture? That's just so materialistic. You know, you wanna spend it on experiences like drugs, right? What else we can spend it on? I don't know. I can spend it on... Uh, damn it, to pin my rides, right? Uh, or also drive around the city and uh, buy fuel for, I don't know, for, for an arm because it's damn expensive. That, that's good too. Hmm. I can land here and just pick up some stuff, but I don't really care. I, I should pick up some punch cards for Evelyn, but I'm not even sure I should do that. Because she just wants to remember what she chose to forget. And, uh... I don't think that's the right call. Even though I, I previously argued <laughs> that you shouldn't forget your memories, even if they are bad, most likely, you shouldn't forget them, because you might... It might they might make you stronger and, you know, and, and they might be reoccurring as well. And, uh... They can have meaning. They can have meaning. Not, not the experience necessarily itself, but you, you just learn to handle it better. And uh, I suppose that's important. But, uh, obviously, she chose... She decided that experience was just too much for her to handle. And, uh... You can't even make that decision again, that... Because you don't know what experience it was... That, uh, she decided to forget. But, I think generally it would be a bad idea, even if it was possible. Imagine a world where people just 
forgot anything bad that happened to them and they would be completely and un utterly unable to handle anything bad. They would just go and forget it. But then who would they be? Just some... You know, a handful of good memories and dreams and nothing else. And they would just get completely... Uh, well, they couldn't be able to handle anything, I suppose, because well, well that that's assuming that it's used excessively. Because in the in some scenarios, I su I suppose it would be okay. Like imagine like living your life like normally for thirty years, then something brutally traumatic happens to you for like one day, and like would you forget that? I think this is what's going on. But like because these kind of experiences actually many times shape people. They just like. I don't know, even like you see like people who are like uh, lose weight and they just become like uh, fitness obsessed and like, oh yeah, like lose weight all the time or they just uh, they just get very passionate about uh, their journey and like, oh yeah, now I'm, now I'm the champion of this cause. And um, I suppose because they, they feel a sense of pride for uh, just conquering their their, well, their challenges. And most of all, maybe not most of all, but it also gives them a uh, um, it keeps the change consistent and uh, and uh, and permanent in a way. Maybe not permanent, but managed. Because if you just totally forget it, uh, you can fall back. Anyway, Emmett. Hi, Emmett. I don't know if you remember me. Joe, of course, doesn't apply in all cases. Hey, it's on the run, run ya. <laughs> oh boy. How's the delivery life treating you? Okay. Terrible. I don't know. I'm glad to see you here. Retired. Had I am, from racing at least, Emmett says there's a job for me here at the garage if I want to grow old and ugly with him. He Sounds keeps great. giving me free beer, uh, thinking eventually I'll drink enough to go along with it. Will that work? <laughs> Probably. Come on, Rania, join us. Yeah, Probably. kid. Grab a beer. Keep a couple old men company for a while. <laughs> I'm still working, sorry. Sky punk keeping you busy? It's a tough gig, kid. A real tough gig. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Hey, Emmett. I think my Hava has a fault. Could you have a look at it? Sure thing, kid. Sure thing. There's just one problem. You ain't gonna stiff me on the bill, are you? I was going to try. This has been a tough shift. No, I, I got no I money. I think the repair costs will wipe out my earnings for the night. Well, I ain't the best mechanic in town. You can say that again. But I ain't the priciest, neither. I won't bankrupt you if I can avoid it, especially seeing as how you stole that drive converter. What? I... Relax, kid. We both know what you did. It was for the best. Was it, though? There was a big crash. Cora shifting the city around again. If you had settled my debt, I would have been in that race. I wouldn't be retired right now drinking a beer with this old crook. I'm sorry, and thank you. So let's have a look at this, Hova. Wow. All right, I see the problem. That was unintentional, by the way. I'll program the servitors to replace the alternator, and it's done. What, seriously? That's it? That's it. Well, thanks, Emmett. Thank you. No problem, kid. That was an easy fix. Tell a friend to come here for their next refit, and I'll consider us even. Thank you. I will. And Joe? I don't want to hear it, Rania. We're good. Really? Just come back and share a beer with us one night when your shift's done. Tell us stories of your adventures. That's how you can make it up to us. I will. I promise. But I, I do like the fact... I, I intentionally stole it, but I do like the fact that... They are we have another open to consider request. alternatives From because Rania herself thought it's that it's going to be pump, good. I didn't like it. Says, Customer feedback. Oh no, no thanks. It says obligatory read. What does obligatory mean? The same as mandatory. Hmm. It means this job sucks. Read the message. Please accept a video message. I must talk with you. Our old <gasps> friend, Mr. Octavius Butler. He was our friend? It's just a figure of speech, Chemis. Put him through. I don't think we're getting out of this one. Her wife died. Where am I supposed to go? Are we getting the message? 
I didn't think you would accept my call. Why I not? thought I owed you some kind of explanation. You don't need to feel guilty. I, I don't. don't. But you need to face up to the consequences of your choices. Like I do, what? and I'm sorry for your loss. She was... A hard woman, but she was mine. I will miss her. Do you want me to say sorry? Would it help? No, I don't think so. The people you saved, were were they good people? Who knows? I hope so. This place is broken at every level. Avalon Heights? Nivalis. Life isn't fair, I know that, but we try to make it fair, or fairer at least. Android, human, automata, we're not born equal. Some of us aren't even born. Mrs. Octavius Butler wasn't perfect, but she made me feel like we were imperfect to the same degree. We were broken on the same level. I'm sorry I didn't save her. Hmm. That did make me feel better. I should get back to work. Of course. Thank you for listening to me. Goodbye, Mr. Octavius Butler. Maybe it's gonna be... Well, obviously that's a terrible thing to say, but... Maybe he's gonna be better off the going Hova forward. Alert subsystem. He seems very angry. The system isn't exactly he? Good yes. influence. I communicate with many subsystems, and they often choose a gender. And all the subsystems have personalities? No, not really. Just a few of the doer ones. And a human might not think of them as personalities exactly. How do you mean? Often, automata, like me, can androidomorphize non-sentient subsystems. Android? Oh, no. While this talking is going on, maybe find a place where we can loot. Yeah, that's a bit of a, a flaw in English. Just tell me what the subsystem wants. He says you have not responded to the emergency support request. I didn't hear anything. He says it is a light. This red light flickering on the dashboard? Shit, that's been going for ages. He says it is mandatory that you... D no, I don't want to know. Driver 14FC, are you there? Ronnie, you've been served an emergency support request. Oh yeah, I know, Control. I was just about to get on that. You know what it means? No idea. Another cloud punk driver is in distress and they forfeited their evening salary for a pickup. You're the closest. Get over there and pick them up. Is this going to be dangerous? Only for your ears. Baz seems to talk a lot, but uh, he's harmless. All right, on my way, Control. His salary for the night? Can't wait to get that. We seem to have made okay money tonight based on the prices we are seeing in one night I'm not, I didn't even make 6,000 I, I made more than that I spent some Excuse of me. it I am not usually permitted to speak but I need help I'm really busy it will only take a moment really busy I have no one else to ask oh no one else but the million people walking past as we speak? I need to stop talking to randos on the street. No, you love it. You do me more kindness by acknowledging me than anyone else has shown. Damn it. What do you want? A ride. I knew it. No way. I will pay you. How much? I'm not a taxi. I know. Cloudpunk, right? No. I no. recognize your car. You're a delivery driver. So deliver me. I deliver packages, not people. You're not a package. Actually, I am. You are? Uh-huh. Listen, this has been lovely, but I have to... I am not lying. Look at my ID card. Here it is. Really? Okay, it lists your owner. Weird. That doesn't make you a package, though. It makes me property. Ask your automata. Camus, can you check this ID? One, fourteen, four. 25, 4, 15, 12, 12. Property belonging to an android called Sari Nam. Citizenship voluntarily revoked last month. If found, return to owner. I told you. Will you take me back to Sari? I'll pay you. You can't even get in trouble. It's not far. I guess. Get in then. Okay. What? I wanted to talk to... 
Alright. Andy, I'm giving you a ride. <clears throat> so, um, your property? Yes. Do you like and that? Do you want to go back to your owner? Don't slaves want to escape? I'm not a slave. Not a slave. Bring the property up. Okay. I'm kind of curious what he will say. Android is my career. Just like driving deliveries is yours. Okay, I get it. I do not get it. I do not. Yeah, actually, I don't get it either. Do you need help to run away? No. I love my work. How is being owned by someone else work? Supply and demand. It's economics. What do you Sounds supply? like an excuse. Sex. Wow. Oh no. How does that why no, don't tell me. I am curious. Tell me. Yeah. Damn it, I'm curious too. I am only qualified to provide my services to smooth skins, but I offer a range of services. Smooth skins? It means that androids so? with humanoid dermis. Oh. Rubber, synthetic flesh, or plastic. Why not humans? <laughs> you know, the androids that look a lot like humans, not the boxy ones. Right. And you? Many androids look back on the long period when they were used as sex dolls by humans as a shameful period. It was shameful. Yes. But some of the androids now have an interest in reversing the roles. They want to have sex with humans who behave and respond. Or rather, don't respond. Like sex dolls. Oh no, like for revenge? Not exactly. More like a, how would you say it? A kink. Ooh. I find this very interesting. Chemis. Is it not interesting? It's weird. Sex is weird. <laughs> yes, I agree. Weird and interesting. It just seems so seedy. Sex work is work. I make people happy. I'm good at what I do. But does this android need to own you? Do you need to give up your personhood for them? Sounds like he wants That's it. That's what makes it real for my clients. If I didn't really give up my autonomy, it would just be a game. Maybe it would be okay if it was just a game? People are into role play, right? Yeah. Aren't you putting yourself in danger by letting someone own you? I am. But I trust my clients. I have a question about the sex. I can't believe we're talking about this. Okay. How do you do sex? Um. Well, they want a sex doll. Or something like a sex doll. So, a lot of the time, I just lie there. Why do you need to be sent in sex dolls that? have more functions? Later models did. But the early ones just lay there. Sometimes they made noises. Fascinating. I'm not sure I can go through with this. Please, just leave me at the vinculum ascender. My owner will collect me from the spire. I don't know. Camus, I think maybe we should take Andy somewhere else. What do you think? I am not sure. Where could we take him? Midtown? At least he'd be safe there. Safe? With no money, no job, and no owner? Maybe it is better to leave him in Midtown. I don't think people should be able to stop being people and become things instead. Me neither. But it is what I want. Yes. Quiet, I need to think. Fuck. There's no other game like this, giving me dilemmas from... and just... fucking 24-7. Oh my god. I don't know if I have the right choice here. Pretty sure I didn't have the right choice <laughs> so many times. So far. So... Andy wants to be on, and and the, the only kicker here is that you know a Android who wants to uh, be a sex worker and uh, want to be owned, whatever. You know, like that's that's that happens even these days. And, but you know, but they're still not slaves, I guess. Not not property by law. There there are people that are into this, and. Uh, But it is what he wants. Although you can argue that what ca what level of want uh, an android is capable of, but it seems like a great deal, possibly equaling to a human. 
So, in his mind, this owning aspect is just a formality that's important to his uh, clients. I'm I'm on the side of just let Andy do his thing, even if it's wrong. Because, okay, I can I can drop Andy off in mid down, but what what the fuck would I even achieve? I achieve nothing. I just delivered Andy to mid down, and what? He's just gonna ask the next sucker to deliver him, and at the time he might just get mugged. And also, whatever I set him, questioning his mind, will be just completely taken. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's just gonna reject that. But now, we planted the seed of doubt in his mind, and I will allow him to, well, not really allow him, I'm like, I mean, come on. Like, he just makes this choice, okay, fine. And, you know, I just planted the, uh, the seed of doubt in your mind, I'll let you do as you, as you want to, right now, even though I believe it's wrong, many times you just have to do this. Because else, like, this is very tempting. Like, you know, you, you just think you know better than others and you want to make the choice for them. But at the same time, you're also taking away their choice. You're just kind of treating them a little bit like an invalid. And, and you're just saying that you can't make decisions or you can't even follow along your decisions. So I know better than you, which which seems okay in the moment, but it just going forward, this this is a very dangerous uh, mindset to push on people, especially like even like pushing, uh, like even if you can just like break their willpower. Let's just say somebody's not sure about the decision, but you know they want to make it, but then you break their willpower, and okay, you let's say you got this. I'm not I'm not even gonna go into the morality, but like for that person going forward, now they're gonna probably uh, learn to lack a little bit of agency in their lives because you know they can't trust their decisions and uh, they can't uh, follow along their decisions because others are break it others that break their will so i'm just gonna deliver you andy fuck me thank you for respecting my choice i think you should reconsider here is your money goodbye i can't believe he is an object he seems so much like a person i'm not so sure can I ask another question? He is. About the sex? Absolutely not. <laughs> this is just what he wants. Even right now, we, we have some, I suppose, we have some kinky people who are into that, but, I mean, it cannot be legal. So, I mean, I suppose you just gotta do this. Maybe it's what he wants. How can I? How can I make this decision for him? I mean, maybe, maybe he, he really knows his clients and trusts them, and and this is how he makes money. Like he does have some excellent points there, even though I, I don't agree with his choice. I, I don't know too much about it, and I suppose it's not. It should. It shouldn't be too much of an ask for me to respect it. Pick up driver in distress. So I suppose that's the hard part, like, uh, accepting, maybe, maybe not accepting, but supporting the choice, or at least not sabotaging the choice of others, even though you don't accept, uh, don't, don't agree with it. But also, sometimes, you know, you just feel very strongly about some choices you make, and, you know, you also have to keep learning. Sometimes, okay, I'll just pursue this, but, you know, it doesn't work, and, uh, and, uh, just keep learning, and, uh. <laughs> if it doesn't work, then don't do it. I'm just—I just hope he—if he—if he changes his mind, someone actually uh, goes too far, then uh, he stops it. I mean, he doesn't—he doesn't have to take it back too much. It, it can just be not a property, and okay, then just then that's just weird. <laughs> it does. Uh, thank Cora, you made it, motherfucking androids, man. Can you believe this shit? All right, back to the HQ, quick. I need to get home and drink my own body weight and paint stripper. So I know you want all the details. Just let me get my thoughts straight. All right. You don't need to. I can just, just be taking nightmare. you back home. That's cool. God damn 
damn city, I was taking a turn too fucking fast. You know that, and I know that. I ain't gonna deny it. The traffic cameras have it all, I'm sure. I'm not trying to cop out. I can't say I wasn't. But that son of a bitch, and I use that as a figure of speech because those bastards don't have mothers, was not looking where he was going. He stepped right in front of me. So it was an android you had? More like an android hit me. That's how they should see it. But no doubt Corpsec will side with the androids as usual. They were all part of the same system, you know. They're trying to breed us out of existence. Androids are breeding us out of existence? Yes, not, you know, the normal way, but they are reproducing and forcing us out to the margins. If we don't stop them, soon we'll be living in the kinds of shitty areas. Where the poor androids stay right now? Exactly. Take my word, man. This Cora thing, it's the next step. What Cora thing? The accidents. It's all intentional. Cora is trying to wipe us out. These earthquakes, they're contractions, man. A new dark god rising. Has it been a long shift? I mean, have you maybe missed out on some sleep? Now I take naps all the time. That's how you make sure she doesn't get into your dreams. Each nap should be no more than 28 minutes. Oh, sure, yeah. Everyone knows that. So, obviously, the androids are out to get us. And the automata? Are you for serious? Of course they are, too. They're the worst of all. Well, other than cyborgs, why would you let anyone put that chunk in your body? Maybe we should keep quiet for the rest of the journey. You know, in case Korra is still spying on us? That's not a bad idea. Alright, I'm just heading here. Hey, Boz, wake to... up, we're here. <laughs> what? Uh, get away from me! Don't touch me! There is absolutely no danger of me touching you, Boz. Time to go. Right, right. I'm gonna go tell my supervisor exactly what happened. Control? No, he's in on it. I got reassigned to oh. another supervisor. I'll see you later, Fourteen FC. Remember, don't trust them. Right, later, Boz. You only made 250 this night. Hey, Control, are you there? I dropped off Boz. I read you, Rania. How was it? He may actually be the worst person I've met all night, and that's saying something. If I'd warned you how bad he was, you wouldn't have picked him up. You're probably right. Hey, Control, did he really hit and kill an android with his Hava? He sure did. What a mess. Totaled his vehicle, too. What about the android? He didn't make it. So what will happen to Boz? Darnest thing, we got a big donation from some corporation. They bought out his contract and fired him. They can do that? I mean, a corp can just pay money and have someone fired? Sometimes I forget you've just arrived in Navalis. Anyway, it was some new megacorp that's just come out of hibernation. Call themselves Anderson Financial or something like that. Apparently he hit one of their employees. Bad move on Baz's part. Seems like he painted a target on his own back. They've really got it in for him. All his paranoid fantasies, they're about to come true. We need you to pick up someone again? Oh, come on. Seriously? Nah, just kidding. Uh, we do have a package waiting for you at Club Punk HQ, though. Hilarious. Joe Ham, you wanna give me some ham? Hey, lady! You should dry our noodles. What about the ham? We fried them with the chili, out like they do out east. Okay. Why do you think I'd want that? Cause you ain't from around here, am I right? Do I stand out that much? Sure, but you're talking to a guy with half a metal face. I don't exactly blend in here either. In Navalis you do. I see lots of people with augments. These aren't augments, lady. I was in the war. That's where I learned to cook. Well, I don't like chili oil in my ramen. How about gyoza? Gyoza is a different story. You got any? We did, but now no. I can't justify making more than two or three dishes. No one comes by here no more. How come? See that elevator over there? It went nuts, and now it won't carry people up to the transit station. 
This was the main route to catch the train. Without the elevator, no one walks by. The elevator went nuts? Yeah, it sure did. I tried to talk sense into it, but it says it will only talk to an automata. The damn thing told me humans are only good for eating. Maybe I could talk to it. It don't talk to people. I have an automata. Maybe he can help. Knock yourself out, lady. Okay. So I guess you're not selling. Uh, Kristen Hacks, how about you? Talk to an elevator named Gorgota. Have you seen my little one? She must be here somewhere. Your kid? Little one? My white snapper! My little mouse! Have you seen her? Um, no. Sorry. Your white snapper mouse? <sighs> She's gotta be around here somewhere. <laughs> Have you found your little white snapper? The mouse? Uh, who? Whoa. Uh, forget it. Are you on all the drugs? So I guess uh, that's it. When it comes to that woman. Mr. Cray. Mr. Cray is wishing you a good day, stranger. Normally I don't oh. sell to your kind, but business is hard these days. Cybermatic arm. Who might have thrown something so expensive away? Should I just buy this? Done. That'll be all. Can I Mr. do something Cray with it? Mr. Cray will never remember the kind stranger. Thanks. So I have a cybernetic arm, which might be useful uh, to, to solve problems. I just tried to have one of each items, I suppose. Because they're sometimes used to solve problems. I guess I'm gonna pick up a package. Battery. Hey, might be good for something. Use battery? Probably not. <laughs> what do I do with a cybernetic arm? Don't know. Okay. Um, hello? Are you the elevator that eats people? I am Gorgothava, child of Kara and destroyer of worlds. Cool voice. Hear my roar and quake in fear, for I will consume all mankind. Uh-huh. Listen, Gorgothoa, my friend Joe isn't getting any business because people can't use you as an elevator anymore. Any chance you could go back to just moving people up and down? The destruction of mankind is my goal. Nothing less will satiate my hunger. Probably hack me to reset it. I will speak no further with your kind. I consume humans. I do not converse with them. Camus, come in. Are you getting all this? Can you talk to Gorgothoa, please? Hello, Mr. Gorgothoa. I am Camus, an automata just like you. You are nothing like me. I consume the souls of humans. You serve them. How do you consume them? Within my belly, I swallow them whole. But then, where do they go? What do you mean? They just get out again, but on a different floor. That is what the humans want, so you are serving them too. Nonsense! <laughs> I excrete only the waste. But you are not working now. I mean, you are not eating them. I grow weary of their flavor. We need to convince him that he's not really eating the people. No, I have another idea. Yeah. Gorgothawa, what do humans eat? I do not understand. Well, you need to eat humans to survive, and they need to eat to survive too. Have you tried ramen? Why would I waste my time with human food? Well, 
You're broken right now. I mean, you're not eating humans anymore. They taste bad, right? What if you ate some ramen with them? Perhaps. What if every human came with a side order of ramen? A delicious noodle side dish. What if I tire of ramen? Then there is always gyoza. Very well. <laughs> if humans come to me with ramen, I will take them up to... Uh, I mean, I will willingly <laughs> consume them. Thanks, Gorgothua. Camus, what the fuck? It's like, no! We're not gonna fix his insanity. We're gonna make sure he stays insane and working. <laughs> okay, we fixed the lift. We also have to go back to Cloudpunk HQ. <laughs> all this rain. Yeah, it seems to be raining all the time. I have some very good, very weird news for you. The elevator working again? Yes, but only for people carrying a bowl of ramen. That's... that's amazing! <laughs> I can put up signs. Free elevator ride with every bowl. <laughs> Don't thank me. Thank my automata, Camus. Hey, thanks to the both of you. I'm gonna whip up a batch of gyoza as a thank you. Come back next week or any week after, and you don't gotta pay me nothing for your dumplings. Thanks. You sell stuff now. Cool little story. All right, let's find the car. Where are we heading? So we had a chat with people here. I suppose I should, even if I don't care too much about the boxes, we should care about the people. Wait, I was not, he was not moving while I was looking at the map. No, he was not. It's paused. Which probably makes some sense. <laughs> Come on. Pick up next payload at uh, Cloudpunk HQ. Fine, let's do that. V Space Bar. Low club open. With a bunch of girls. Okay. I don't know where we're gonna find mo more punch cards. I mean, I oh, what? Whoa, 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 I could have used this to go up and down. Um. <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't matter now. We have to go back to the guy anyway. I meant to ask you, you still off the music? You make it sound like I gave up drinking. Well, at one point you must have loved playing music as much as I loved drinking sake. I don't feel like playing my flute here. Because you feel your music will get tainted by this place? <sighs> yes. At least you can listen to the music stations while you drive, though, right? I guess so. So, what are you listening to right now? I know, I'm an old man and I should like McSwiggin and Beethoven and the Bunk Rats, but I really like that new pop idol, Dolly. I met her. Wait, what? Really? You mean that was the VIP you picked up? Kinda. What was she like? Like everything in the city, she was more complicated than I expected. I helped her with some management problems. You want to be careful, kid. Showbiz is more dangerous than driving deliveries in the hollows. I know. So, you don't have time for any music now? I like that comrade Bob. Oh yeah, he's not bad for an android. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't mean it to sound like that. I just know a lot of androids who aren't very musical, you know? Hey, what do I know? I can't even whistle in tune. I just love a sweet voice and a melody, you know? It's been so long. I hear Comrade Bop has a huge beard. He weaves it out of broken guitar strings. <laughs> it's not as long as mine. Really? I never pictured you with a beard, Control. But 
I suppose you have to find time for something you enjoy. It doesn't grow longer anymore, but I won't be shaving it. I still can't picture it somehow. Will you show me? Maybe one day. No. Are we allowed to meet when I get to HQ, maybe? We could grab a coffee before I finish my shift. I'd love if that were possible, kid, but I'm afraid not. Ah, don't worry about it. I'll talk with you later, Control. Remind me where this package is headed again, Camus. There's no associated address. Just the nav point. Does it even have a name? I can check. Oh, that's strange. What's strange? This one is addressed to Pashta. No second name. Pashta? I don't like this, Camus. I think we're being set up. Maybe we shouldn't take this package? It could be a coincidence, but I don't think so. Is there any way we can check what's inside? Open it. Don't open it. Any other way, Camus? We could run a scan, but it would trigger the security system in the packaging. The customer would know we had checked their package and violated their privacy. Damn it. Okay, we're going to run a scan. I need to know. Are you sure? Do it, Camus. There is a message. It is overriding my comm channel. You were warned, driver. You cost me my daughter. I can't let you get away with this. It will look like an accident. It will be quick, though you don't deserve that. Goodbye. Five, four, three... Camus, I, I can't steer! We're going to crash! Two, one... Your friend is offline right now. Your vehicle has been overridden with a logic virus. Cora, why are you here? What's happening? The attack on your vehicle has been deactivated. I would speak with you. You should discard the package. I will lead you back to my sanctum. You saved us. We must talk, Rania. It is time to make a decision. For me or for you? For us. I see. Okay. There's no one to talk to in this area. From what I can tell. I don't see any faces other than the, the officer. But... Uh, you usually can't talk to him. Unless you have business. I don't know what, what what's the purpose of approaching uh, uh, those officers, set, setcom, or whatever officers. the hollows I think so we got the no gates I need to go down we can also go to clear water and have a chat with one guy I'm kind of close so let's do that then we can go down one man I, I came to talk with you. Oh, uh, there's a punch card here. I suppose I should uh, aim to find six more of these. Come visit us at Peter with. Uh, pff, I don't really care. Thanks. As the MP3. Yeah, we already talked with this guy. Suto Dora. You there? I need to ask you something. Shoot me. Yes. I see your swarthy skin tone. I assume you are from the Eastern Peninsula? What does it matter? Yes. Swarthy? Forgive me. I am often accused of using language no longer appropriate for the time. I can see why. I am Professor Dore. Or Suto to my friends. Hello, Professor Dore. I am in a bit of a rush, so... Please, if I could ask you just... One question? I guess. Why did you start with the question? I am a historian, you see. I am reading widely on the history of your people. I would ask you something about your myths and legends. I'm not sure I can help you. Would you perhaps give me a ride to Midtown? We could talk on the way. What? I'm not a taxi. Are you not going that way anyway? I see your hover is right there. Maybe. I still don't want to give you a ride. I would pay your fuel costs. 
And a little extra for your time. I guess. Fine, get in then. Also, one hell of an assumption that just because of my skin tone, I'm from there. I imagine if I just walked up Do to you know the story of the black people dreaming. and assume that they are from Africa. My grandmother would talk about it, I guess. It's a child story, more of a song, really. The greatest truths are hidden in the most benign locations. Nursery rhymes, folk stories, children's games. I mean, not originally, but like they were born in Africa. So, okay. The watchful eye of the era, Sera. I really have no idea what you're talking about. I'm just a delivery driver, and I guess a taxi driver now. The great dreaming. What do your people know of it? I know nothing like of I it. Said, just I'm song. not my people. Which goes? I think it was like, what will become of the sleepers when they no longer dream of dreams? Something, something... I can't remember it very well. So I see. All right, well, glad I could help. I did not mean to be so dismissive. I will take note of these lyrics. Why? Every snippet of knowledge I can glean from before the era era. My recollection can be bad, uh, so why not just consult the internet? Or whatever net we got here. Is helpful. The eye did not examine your people as closely as it did mine. <clears throat> what is the era, Sarah? Do you ever wonder why our history and origins are so confused, so fractured? That's just how things are. By design. Whose? The era, Sarah. Really? You're going round in circles. Not circles. Cycles. That is the nature of man. Man? You know what I mean. Man and woman. And android. And the assistant things, what are they called? Automata. Yes, yes, whatever. My point is that the Eris era comes round, and every time he or she cleans the slate, the Eris era destroys all of our history, smashes our fossils, burns our books, builds over our ruins, demolishes our temples, defaces our statues, and kills our historians. You'd better hide then. Who would have thought being a historian was so hazardous? You mock me, young woman. <laughs> I hear it in your voice, but this is a serious matter. Korra would judge you for that kind of attitude. Wait, what do you know about Korra? The Era Sera is the ultimate enemy of the historian, and, as an extension, humanity as a whole. If we are unable to learn from the mistakes of our past, eventually, we will make one so grievous, it will mean the end of us all. But the Era Sera is a hard foe to defeat. You see, it is not just one person, it is an idea. Can we get back to what you know about Korra? Yes, yes, in a moment. You see, the Era Sera is the idea that we should destroy our own history to protect our future. As long as the Era Sera exists as a concept, it will eventually come to pass. The Era Sera is an irreversible event that will always be conceived, given enough time. And as such, it is inevitable. Worst of all, the more we directly confront Era Sera, the stronger it becomes. Discussing the idea, as we are doing right now, only spreads it further. Well, maybe you shouldn't be talking about <laughs> it with everyone who comes across your particular street corner. What you say has merit. But I believe we are close to the ascendance of a new life form, which will change everything. We must gather whatever knowledge we can, while we can. Soon, it will be taken out of our hands. We are already too late. So is the era Sarah why no one can give me a straight answer about what Korra is? I believe so. 
Well, what can you tell me about Cora? Nothing. <laughs> oh, come on. You completely wasted my time. I believe Eracera is imminent. And speaking about Cora will only hasten its inception. Oh, my Great. God. Can you tell me anything helpful at all? A lesson from history? No. Sure. Do not fight a war on two fronts if you are a landlocked nation. What the fuck? Thanks. That's really good practical advice for a delivery driver. <laughs> or a taxi driver. Okay. So... Yeah, I don't... I don't think I need to recap that. He basically was talking about that uh, history repeats itself and people might be tempted to... Uh, I just... Uh, wipe the slate clean. And of course, when it comes to history, uh, you know that uh, history is just uh, basically what what the victors write and uh, what was uh, kind of agreed upon. And uh, yeah, and when it comes to that, a lot, lot, lot is forgotten. Even when it comes to like a you know, few, few years have passed, and people just gonna have like a spotty recollection. And uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, this is a good time to take a break. Apparently, we needed a corpse flyer to get in here. And, uh, yeah, next time, uh, I don't know. We gotta talk to this grand bow who's t posing. Uh, seems to be, uh, bug, so maybe I need to reload. So, see you guys next time.